Hello everyone, I'm BC1 Collie. I'm a cutter training specialist at ATO Portsmouth, and I'm here today to teach you how to properly operate a 15 pound CO2 extinguisher. We now have the CO2 extinguisher nomenclature. Starting off from the top, we have our valve handle. We have the safety pin and the tamper seal holding in place. Down to the hose. The hose connects the CO2 to the horn. Horn handle is here, and this is the horn. Okay, moving down to the belly band, of course. List the information on the CO2 extinguisher and your horn bracket. How to properly operate the CO2 extinguisher? First, you want to grab everything in one hand, maintain positive control at all times. Locate the safety pin, pull away from the valve handle, breaking the tamper seal. Next, you're going to grab the horn by the horn handle. Squeeze the valve handle to release the CO2. Once you have a proper agent test set, you can move to the location of the fire. Of course, this is your test for agent first. You want to make sure every time before you use the extinguisher, you want to ground it so that the extinguisher is grounded so you don't prevent or so you prevent sack charge. Next, you're going to in sweeping motions, four to six feet away from the fire. You want to squeeze the valve handle and release the CO2 inside the space at the base of the flames of the fire. Once the fire is out, you're going to stand by until proper relieved, or you're going to move the extinguisher to a safe location so it's not a hazard to personnel or anybody transiting through the space. Uh, the way to do that, of course, laying the extinguisher on its side or into its original bracket. Safety precautions for the CO2 extinguisher. Number one, avoid skin contact. Always make sure you grab the CO2 by the horn's handle, not by the horn. That's where the CO2 is actually discharging from the extinguisher from the, the horn, so you wanna make sure that you grab it each time by the horn handle to avoid frostbite. Number two is maintaining positive control of the extinguisher at all times. Doing that is grabbing the extinguisher by the valve handle the valve handle is a critical component. It could cause a missile hazard if broke off. Okay. Number three, when not using the extinguisher, make sure it's safely put back into its own original bracket or laid on its side in a safe location to avoid hazard personnel. Number four, you never want to expend more than two extinguishers inside of a space. Discharging more than two CO2 extinguishers inside of a space could displace the oxygen inside of space. Number five, you want to avoid static electricity. To avoid static electricity, always ensure that you ground the CO2 extinguisher on the deck before expanding CO2 extinguisher. Number six, when a CO2 extinguisher is stored in a space with an ambient temperature above 130 degrees, you want to make sure that the agent inside the 15 pound CO2 extinguisher does not exceed 13.5 pounds.